Dit is Papa Alfa 0 Eco Tingo Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag. Dit is het bulletin van zaterdag. As every weekend, this Saturday bulletin will be in English. We have some Morse code words for today and an SSTV image in PD90. This is GB2RS, the news broadcasting service of the Radio Society of Great Britain. It comes to you from G4NJH in Nottingham. You can find the text on the RSGB Zone website. Now for the radio propagation report compiled by G0KYA, G3YLA and G4BAO. This week brought a glimpse of better things to come. And the M0NKR reports, M0NKR reports that he worked VP6J Pitcairn Island on 12 metres and the maximum usable frequency was often above 21 megs earlier in the week. The downside was, as predicted, periods of unsettled geomagnetic conditions with the K index hitting four at times and even six on Friday. But, looking on the bright side as we enter September, we're now heading towards better autumnal HF conditions in the Northern Hemisphere. The ionosphere is starting to cool and there's a shift towards more monoatomic and fewer diatomic species in the F2 layer. These are easier to ionise, so we should see, start to see the maximum usable frequencies increase but we really need calmer geomagnetic conditions too, so look out for lower K indices for better propagation on the higher HF bands. Next week we may see the solar flux index increasing, thanks to large sunspot group number 2585, which is rotating into position on the solar surface. The US Air Force predicts the solar flux index will be about 105 this weekend, tailing off to 70 by the end of the week. Geomagnetic conditions may be unsettled at the beginning of the week, but improving by next weekend. The smooth sunspot number for September for use with VOA cap based prediction programs is 35. Now for VHF and up propagation news. This week's weather will be largely dominated by high pressure, meaning that we'll be getting a chance to try some VHF and UHF tropo. In fact, for much of the coming week, high pressure will extend across much of Britain, and at times there should be some good quality temperature inversions to cause ducting over quite long distances. Remember, tropo is not a fleeting signal path like sporadic E, but can last for hours and even days with some variability. It's often better at high frequencies, so try the gigahertz bands and UHF first, then move down to VHF. The positioning of the high should allow contacts from the UK to Scandinavia and down across Biscay to Spain, as well as within the UK itself. This is a chance to test out your station. Don't rely on a repeater to do the work. Go simplex and try other modes like CW and SSB. Moon declination is negative all this week, meaning shorter moon windows. Add to this the moon's apogee on Tuesday, bringing the highest losses, and EME opportunities will be more limited. The the Orionids meteor shower is spread over many months between late August and mid-November, so continue to look out for improved meteor scatter conditions this coming week. And that's it for this week from the Propagation Team. Three International Space Station crew members are scheduled to return to Earth on Tuesday, the 6th of September. NASA Television will provide coverage of their departure from the orbital outpost and return home beginning at 2pm uh, in the UK. Check out the full NASA TV schedule and video streaming information at www.nasa.gov forward slash NASATV. A team led by Dave, EI9FBB, will be activating Europe's second most wanted IOTA until the 6th of September. The team will be on air from Lunga Island, which is EU 108. Using the 8 to 6 metre bands, there will be four stations operating CW and SSB. Using the call sign MS0UKI, the six man team also includes EI5GM and EI6FR. See www.eufigures108.wordpress.com for more information. Eight British competitors are going to the ARDF World Championships in Bulgaria in the name of the RSGB. They flew out yesterday, the 3rd of September, to Varna on the Black Sea coast. The first of the four competitors competitions is the Fox Oring and takes place today the 4th. It's a combination of direction finding and orienteering skills. This is followed on Monday by the sprint race with the 80 metre and 2 metre classic 5 transmitter races on Tuesday and Thursday. The RSGB has entered teams for the M40, M50 and M70 categories and an individual for the M60 category. 
The best chance of a podium place is in the highly competitive M50 category, where there are two talented competitors at the lower end of the age group, David M3WDD and Andrew G4KWQ. The team are all self-funded and fly back at the end of the week. Amateur Radio Newsline Report number 2027 with a release date of Friday, September 2nd, 2016. Our newscast opens this week as more storms threaten to bear down in different parts of the U.S. As Amateur Radio Newsline went to production, hams were going into a state of preparedness as we hear from Amateur Radio Newsline's Bobby Best. WX4ALA. Multiple tropical systems are poised to affect the U.S. over the next 48 hours, and amateur radio operators in multiple states have been called on to assist with emergency communications. The area of greatest concern right now is Tropical Storm Hermine in the Gulf of Mexico, and it's sitting like a cock pistol aimed at Apalachicola, Tallahassee, and areas near this region of the Florida Panhandle. Late Wednesday night, the National Hurricane Center issued hurricane warnings for coastal and inland areas from just east of Panama City, east to Cross City, Florida, as well as inland areas that include nine counties due north of this coastal region up to the Florida-Georgia state line. Outside of this hurricane warning area, there are tropical storm warnings from Eglin Air Force Base east along the coast to just north of Tampa and then north and east, including the Dothan, Alabama area and parts of southern Georgia. Plus, a tropical storm watch is in effect up into portions of southern South Carolina. Tuesday in a press conference, Florida Governor Rick Scott said, quote, Our State Emergency Operations Center, or EOC, is at level two, and we have 8,000 members of the National Guard ready to be mobilized if needed, end quote. Florida Aries has been activated, and members are manning the state EOC. Additionally, over 50 counties in Florida have already been declared to be under a state of emergency. And emergency management and Aries on the county level across much of Florida have their county EOCs activated and manned by hams also. Plus, WX4 NHC, the amateur station at the National Hurricane Center, is active through the National Hurricane Center net on 20 meters at 14 dot 325 megahertz with their primary net for additional information on the national hurricane center net visit their website at wx4nhc.org beyond the current watches and warnings that cover up to 48 hours out with landfall anticipated late thursday night as a category one hurricane the tract of hermine takes it up the east coast north of washington dc up to the new york state area late sunday when it should start to make an eastward turn according to the latest model data if hermine wasn't enough hams in hawaii are bracing for not one but two tropical systems over the next 72 hours Tropical Storm Madeline is tracking south, the big island of Hawaii, moving westward as of Wednesday night, local Hawaii time, and is predicted to lose strength. However, behind Madeline is Hurricane Lester. Lester is expected to move across the main Hawaii islands as a Category 1 hurricane between Saturday and Sunday, local Hawaii time. As it tracks northwestward across the islands, it should continue to weaken, though. Aries members in Hawaii are already activated in support of the big island effort with Tropical Storm Madeline, and additional Aries members will be activated as needed to support emergency communications efforts through Lester's track through the islands. Without a doubt, this is going to be a very active holiday weekend for hams. If it weren't enough, though, a new tropical wave has just formed in the far eastern Atlantic. This tropical wave was located a few hundred miles west of the Cabo Verde Islands. This wave will bear watching around the time our current storms are clearing out and the wave is reaching the Lesser Antilles. Reporting from Jasper, Alabama, I'm Bobby Best, WX4ALA.
Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks om 1900 uur te beluisteren op PI2 NOS en ochtends om half elf. Aanvullende informatie bij de uitzendingen is te vinden op www.pa0ete.nl. Wil verder gerust je tips, commentaar en desnoods priet praten naar xapenstaartjexdv.me. Ga jij nog naar het tuincentrum komend weekend? Ja, ik wil daar het komend weekend nog naartoe. Zou je voor mij dan een zakje randaarden willen meenemen? Tuurlijk.